We use Microsoft Excel to solve a set of linear equations. In this case, we have five variables, x1 through x5, and we have uh, five equations as well. What we're going to do is put this into a form like ax equals b, and then we'll find the solution by taking uh, multiply by a inverse on both sides, and uh, that's going to be a inverse times a. That's going to be the identity matrix there. So we're just going to have x equals a inverse times b. We're going to do this in Excel. So the first thing we need to do is put this um, left-hand side right here into matrix form. And the way we do that is just um, take uh, the different entries. Okay, and then we have x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. Okay, and then we just find uh, you know, the coefficient that's in front of the x1 there. Here's one that's 3, so we have a 0 right here. Or actually, that's a 0 for x3. Uh, let me put a 3 there, and then a 0 for the x3, because this one is going to be multiplied by x3 as we do our multiplication. And then our right-hand side is going to be 45 on down. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in Excel. I'll make this just a little bit smaller, move it over to the side, and just so we can see what we're inputting into Excel. And then start up Excel. And um, now the, the one trick with doing the matrix multiplications uh, or you know the um, inverse, things like that, is that you have to do the, the control shift enter when you're um, doing some of these calculations. I'll show you how to do that. So let's just go ahead and do um, put in our values um, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, and then the, I'm going to go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger here, and here as well, make this. Zoom in. Okay. There I go. Okay, so I have, uh, for my second equation, I have uh, a 0 here. I have a 4 for the x2. Uh, for the x3, I have 2, 0, and 1. And let's keep going down. 3, 2, 7, 1, and 0. Okay, and then 4, 0, 4. 4, 10, 1, and the last one is 2, 5, 1, 3, uh, 14. Okay, and then let's do the right-hand side as well. Um, just go ahead and input these. And 92. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do first of all is just go ahead and calculate, uh, you know, this is my A matrix and this is my B vector. And let's just go ahead and calculate uh, A inverse, first of all. Um, what I'm going to do is get a 5 by 5 um, area. Okay, just go ahead and highlight that. In this case, I did it, you can either do it with your mouse or um, you, know, you can use the uh, shift. Okay, just go to B9, hold down the shift, and then hit down five times and five time, or four more times over. Okay, to give a 5 by 5. And then you do um, equals inverse. Okay, and then I am going to do, uh, you know what, that didn't show up in the help. Okay, so let's do this. Instead, um, an M, let me try this one again. Cancel. Okay, so you can't change part of an array. I'm going to do delete. Oh, you know, sometimes these arrays are a little bit difficult to work with. You can see it just kind of locked up for me uh, right here. I'm going to try escape. Okay, let me go ahead and just delete this and try this again. I think I did it uh, incorrectly equals M inverse. Okay, there it is. Matrix inverse. The inverse matrix or the matrix stored in an array. So I'll do that one, uh, M inverse, and then select the A matrix. Okay, and then close parenthesis. Now is where you need to do the control, shift, and enter. Okay, there it is. So 
I have the inverse of the A matrix, and now the um, X solution, okay, is just gonna be A inverse times B. So let's go ahead and select these five, and we'll do equals, um, let's do M multiply, M mult, okay, matrix multiply, and I'll do the first one, which is going to be this region right here. Um, and then I'll do a comma, and then select this next region right here, which is my B. And don't forget to do Control, Shift, and Enter. Okay, so that is the solution, um, A inverse times B. And we've solved this set of linear equations. So if I plug these back in, um, into uh, this region right here. Let's just go ahead and check one of them. Okay, so that's going to be equal to that times this plus. Okay, so I'm just gonna multiply it out. Just check one of the equations, one of the uh, rows here. Okay, that one's zero, so I don't really need to include it. Okay, now all five of these should be satisfied. Okay, by the time I'm done, because I've solved this set of linear equations. So that was the solution was 45. I multiplied each of those coefficients by the x values, the corresponding x values, and came up with whatever was on the uh, right hand side. Okay, so that's how you do the, um, the matrix inverse. Okay, so this was m inverse and this one was M-Molt.